tires. Oh yeah, they come fully disassembled. Ooh, ooh, it's like, ooh. It's tropical. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video. It's good to be back on the tube. Uh, I've been gone for the past month and a half down in Orlando, getting recertified on the Airbus 320, uh, which means I'll be flying to West Coast destinations once again. So that means look forward to some cool West Coast trails in the near future on the channel. A couple other updates on the channel. My Stumpy Evo is getting some new suspension. Finally, I've been waiting for almost two months for the new RockShox Lyric Ultimate Fork. I got it in that kind of cool green color to go with the off-white color of the Evo frame. It's going to look really good. Also have the uh, new RockShox Coil Ultimate Shock coming in. Um, that should be here in another week or two. Can't wait to get that thing mounted up to the, uh, the Stumpy Evo and uh, ride that and bring you guys a review of the new RockShox products. But speaking of RockShox products, I have a bike here, but let's just look at the bike. Well, here it is, guys. This is the new 2023 Santa Cruz 5010. If I back up here, Take a look at the 5010. Does something look off? Turn it that way. That wheel's a little smaller than this wheel. The new 5010 is a mullet. So technically Santa Cruz no longer makes a pure 27.5 mountain bike. They only make mullet bikes and 29er bikes. Well, the bike has not been released yet. It's gonna be released technically tomorrow, which is, will be today when you're watching this video. Bike comes in gloss red and matte black. I don't know the official colors name for this bike, but in their little pamphlet, they call us gloss red. It looks like the 5010 of a couple of years ago. It came in like this kind of orangey, bright red. It kind of looks similar, similar to that, maybe a little more uh, fluorescent red orange to it. Pretty cool looking. The accent color for the logo is kind of a gold, light gold color. It's kind of mute, maybe a little touch of green to it, but it's nice. I might change it if this was my bike, maybe to another color, experiment. See if something else would pop a little better, but don't mind it. And this 5010 is the CC Frame XL1 build. So let's briefly go over the spec of this uh, build. It looks like it comes with the, uh, start with the wheels here, the Race Face Arc 30 wheels, aluminum wheel set, but it has some nice hubs, Industry 9, 1-1 one, one hub, so pretty good engagement back here. And those rims were wrapped in Maxxis rubber, DHR2 front and back. Got the 2.4 in the front, obviously 29 by 2.4, and then the 27.5 by 2.4. It's so weird seeing a 29 wheel and a 5010. For suspension, can't wait to try this out because I have the older Pike Ultimate on my Trek Top Fuel. This is the new one, 140 millimeters of travel and it has all the new technology with the little buttercups. <laughs> now we have low speed and high speed compression. I had to work with that and get that dialed in. Obviously you have room for your, your volume spacers and then your traditional rebound down here. As for shock, the new Super Deluxe Ultimate Rear Shock. Got the high speed compression. Um, the lockout, you make it firm for pedaling performance, and we have our low speed compression. So high speed, low speed, and you lock out, and I'll see your rebound. For brakes, G2 RSC brakes, oh, these are okay. Not my favorite, I wish I had some codes on this bad boy, but they'll do for now. The new Santa Cruz grips feel nice and meaty, grippy, soft, and the new Santa Cruz High rise carbon bar, 30, 35 millimeter rise, 800 millimeter wide. And I forgot to say I'm a size large frame. I'm like 5'10". This might be a little big, but I could go between a large or a medium frame, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. 
As for drivetrain, we got the SRAM X01 Eagle drivetrain. The regular cable actuated one. Wait, I lied. This is <laughs> this is the uh, my Axis one um, from my personal one. As you see, the remote right there. But it does come with the regular cable one. I just threw this one on here just to get it the bike going a little bit quicker. And for dropper, the Rock Shots Reverb 175 millimeter dropper on this size large with a WTB saddle, Volt saddle. Um, all pretty good stuff. So looking at the 5010, it's right above me here. I'm sorry, I'm just sitting on the ground. Uh, <laughs> damn, I got a shiny head. So changes on the 5010. Obviously, like I stated, it's a mullet now, mixed wheel bike. It says they're running significantly less anti-squat, which means more traction and ground huggy feeling. Okay, so is that gonna change the characteristic of a 5010? Is it not gonna be as poppy and playful? We'll see. Okay, wait, I should have flipped to the next page. It does have a nice progressive curve like the old 5010, so I think it's gonna get off the ground pretty nicely. So if you haven't seen my review of the 2021 5010 where they first put the lower link into it, I'll leave a card, one of these corners, I can't remember which one, but go check it out. I almost forgot to mention, I'm so used to it on my specialized bike. Got the glove box. Okay, so you flip this little switch, open the glove box. What the? Ah, come on. It's easier to open when you have the water bottle cage to pull it off with, but I got no fingernails. Ah, it, trust me, there's a little hole right here. You stuff a tube, CO2 cartridge, burrito, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. As for the geometry of the new 5010, hasn't changed much, it seemed like. It's uh, still just roughly in the higher low. I'm just going to give you an average of the geometry. Obviously, you can look at Santa Cruz's website, which I'll leave in the description below. But about a 65 degree head tube angle, about a 77 degree seat tube angle. I'm just giving you the average between the high and low when you flip the chip here. Um, reach on the new 5010, the size large frame, 476 millimeters. Top tube length. Ah, it's about, let's see right here, 625 on the size of large. So similar numbers to the old 5010, obviously just the mixed wheel, and they do have size specific chainstays. So as the frame grows, the chainstay length is gonna grow too. So pretty cool to keep the geometry consistent between sizes. All right, I almost forgot. Let's see much the 5010 weighs. I don't know why I have it in kilograms, but I'll put the conversion here on the screen somewhere. It's just going bouncing between 14 point, call it four or five kilograms. It's good to be back home. Good to be back on the tube. Thanks for watching this first look of the 2023 5010. Stay tuned to the next couple videos. Definitely going to be doing a ride review and impressions video of the new 5010. But I'll see you on the next one. Peace.